Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to share my interview experience with Microsoft and how I landed an offer at Microsoft. So basically, I have uh, more than 16 years of experience and I am with my current company for more than uh, 11 years. So uh, when I started looking for a change, uh, a recruiter, a recruiter uh, contacted me via LinkedIn. So I have shared my profile to him and they have scheduled me a coding interview uh, about uh, three weeks after three weeks. So uh, basically there will be two coding rounds first and if you do well in that, uh, you go through to the next round and from third round onwards it will be like a knockout. So if you do well, you go to next round, otherwise they will stop the process. So first round, uh, it's again, it's uh, coding round, uh, first two rounds are coding. So in the first round, they asked me testing based questions. So initially uh, the interviewer explained me about uh, the project and the work that we are going to do uh, in, the, in case if I join. So he explained me about the project portfolio and other things. Then uh, I gave my introduction and my, uh, I explained about my work and other uh, project activities uh, in about 10 minutes. So, uh, so it, uh, I mean, every round is like 40, 45 minutes round. So uh, I was left with around 20 to 25 minutes for the coding question. So they gave me a string based question. And so initially I explained him about the naive approach which is a brute force approach and I myself told him that this is uh, not very efficient and I thought about uh, for a, a two three minutes and then I came up with a better approach and he was happy with that uh, here there are two things that we need to take care of in this particular question there are two main uh, tasks that we need to perform and I myself pointed that to him and he was happy with that and he told me to write the code and so and one more thing he mentioned was that I don't have to worry about the uh, syntax errors. I mean, so uh, basically, you don't have to worry that you don't. I mean, I don't have to write uh, perfect code that compiles. So even if there are compilation issues, it's fine. So I was able, I was able to write the code, uh, the approach that I mentioned. So I was able to code it. And then uh, one more thing I did was before start, before started uh, coding, I uh, just, uh, I just made a few test cases. So basically, they shared a codeability. Uh, one tool one link where you can write the code so i myself made a few examples which will cover uh, most of the scenarios then after writing my code i ran through uh, two examples and then i found that it doesn't work for one of the cases so i handled that case as well and he was happy finally and uh, uh, we just discussed further a few uh, things on this uh, method that we that i uh, coded so we discussed a few things uh, where we can optimize further so overall he is very happy and I felt uh, this coding round went really well. Then in round two again in coding round, so again it started with uh, a few questions from my side like he want, he, he asked me if I have any questions so I asked about the work and other things. Then I explained about my work. Uh, then uh, about, 20, about 25 to 30 minutes I have uh, time for coding question. So he wanted me to implement one of the standard data structures. And I before coding I uh, discussed with him about my approaches I told him uh, what is the best method I can do and I explained him why it is be better then as we are discussing he he wanted to discuss with respect to memory and efficiency memory and performance so we found out a few issues with respect to memory and performance so he wanted me to I mean address those things so finally I told him uh, the best approach that I, can, that I can do so he was happy with that and he told me to implement without using any STL library or functions so I did the coding and I was able to implement it fast and then he told me uh, as a third person look at this code and as a third person and review that and give me give some review comments he told me so I have to review my my own code so I reviewed the code and I provided a few review comments I was able to find a few issues and there was there was one more issue that I couldn't find so he gave, so he asked me to find out that and after a few minutes, he gave me a hint and with the hint, uh, I was able to uh, point that uh, error. So basically, we need to uh, listen to the uh, interviewer properly. So in case if you get stuck somewhere, they will provide you hints and you should be able to catch the hints and uh, try to uh, come up with the solution or try to find the bugs. So that is also very important. So this round also went really well. So I was confident that uh, I will go to the next round. So as expected, uh, they proceeded to a third round so this round is basically a little bit of coding design and and some behavioral questions 
because I have a, a lot of experience and so they were testing uh, behavioral as well, design and coding. So here uh, they gave me a little bit of, I mean, some easy level questions. If you, if you are familiar with uh, Lead Code Easy, uh, you can think that one or two Lead Code Easy questions and I don't have to write the code, I explained the approach. Then uh, he, he told me one more question, uh, which I, I would say it is a little bit easy compared to the Lead Code Medium problems. So he told me to write the code. I wrote the code for the same. So it is like uh, numbers and permutations. So I wrote the code. He was happy. And he asked a little bit of design related questions. He didn't ask me to design anything, but a little bit of design related questions and some of the behavioral questions. So this round also went well. I won't say it, I did very well, but it was good. Then uh, in the round four, again, it was purely on design and behavioral. So I was asked a few behavioral questions, which I was able to answer uh, to some extent properly. Then he gave me a design question. So basically my experience so far, uh, my whole career has been on the client side, but uh, they, have, they were giving me uh, server based design, design, design questions. So he asked me to, to design a small service on the server. So uh, I was able to do it somehow, uh, though I haven't done it to, to the perfection, but it was okay so probably i would say in the round four was uh, above average and then uh, finally and in between i was checking with my uh, recruiter who partnered me on linkedin so he was giving me the feedback so when i asked him he said uh, the overall feedback was good and they wanted to have one more round so that will be hiring manager round so he told me because i am a senior member i have lots of experience so they wanted to have a fifth round so generally this uh, probably they will be having four rounds so uh, the fifth round is again with so the fifth round is with the hiring manager so here uh, it was like uh, completely behavioral round so there were lots of behavioral questions though the round is scheduled for 45 minutes it went beyond that and it was almost like 80 to 90 minutes he asked a lot of questions around my project how i handle teams how i manage my how i manage my team members and how i interact with my manager and how i handle critical situations in the projects so there are a lot of uh, questions on the behavioral. Then at the end, uh, he gave me a design question again. And that it, this is also again uh, designing a, some service on the server side, not on the client side. So I was able to explain to some extent. And he gave some follow-up uh, questions, which I couldn't uh, clearly explain him. But at the end of the round, he said uh, he is happy. And he said the feedback is positive. And he told me the... HR will contact me for an offer after a few days. So that's how uh, my interview experience with Microsoft went. So I would like to share uh, my preparation strategy and tips so that it will be useful for those, at least those with lots of experience and who wants to break the shackles and come out of their comfort zone and start giving interviews. So uh, as I explained, I have around 16 years of, more than 16 years of experience. Exactly a year, a year back, I wanted to. I started thinking of changing my company, and I started. And first, I want to give an interview just to know my current level, where I stand. I want to see where I stand. So without any preparation, I gave an interview with Adobe. Then I gave an interview with Microsoft. Both of the interviews I did decently well, considering that I don't have prior. I mean, not not lot of experience and not much preparation. So I was able to do. Uh, well to till some extent so i failed in the design round but uh, that's fine yeah. so after that experience with that experience i started uh, doing lead code because few of my colleagues have told me about this so i started doing lead code and so probably around march you can see i started around march so as you can see i have been practicing regularly in lead code from March till uh, till now. So uh, as you know, um, probably lead code users may be knowing that in April they started lead code daily challenge. So there will be a problem every day. We have 24 hours to solve that. So I have been doing the lead code daily challenge uh, every single day till now, except one or two days. So uh, if you see the graph, every day I was solving at least one problem, except one or two days. So I have solved around seven, 70 problems so far. And my uh, focus was mostly on the medium problems. So I don't go too much into the hard problems. 
because i believe uh, uh, if you are uh, targeting uh, if you are more experienced than if you are targeting microsoft i believe you don't have to focus too much on the hard level problems if you are able to do uh, most of the medium problems that should be fine in my opinion so initially i started with easy questions just to get more hands on and uh, improve my coding speed so i completed all the easy problems so the remaining are locked questions so i don't have premium so i just solved what are all the open questions then i went on to medium so i was able to solve a 370 so far and one more thing that i did was uh, around may from may till now i have been uh, attending every contest every weekly and bi weekly contest that they do I mean we did code conducts weekly and bi weekly contest so i have attended almost every contest so far when i started in may and i was able to i mean i can see that i mean that really helped me because it improved my coding speed it improved i mean because it is a contest you have a fixed time so you have a time slot so you have to stick to your time schedule and then you have to solve the problems so that helped me to get some experience and uh, as i started uh, participating in these contests i was able to uh, i mean perform well i could see that i was able to consistently be in the top 20 to 30 tip 20 to 30 percent so that really uh, increased my confidence and apart from that uh, with respect to design i haven't prepared much but probably you should be able to uh, try some uh, probably watch some videos on youtube or some do some courses on educative.io uh, like grokking the system design review based on your requirement whether it is server side or client side so i just banked on my experience because i have lot of experience and i was trying to recollect what projects i have done and i was trying to uh, get some i was trying to uh, i mean i mean i was trying to uh, prepare myself with some of the projects that i have done so yeah yeah so coding i was able to do very really well so probably i need to uh, improve on the design skills yeah so if you are uh, if you want to uh, give so interviews if you want to do well you have to start preparing so, i mean you have to uh, practice regularly every day you have to solve some problem so you have to make uh, that schedule and then you have to stick to it so i believe if you practice for 3 4 months i think you should be able to do it you will uh, really improve your coding speed as well as coding skills and you have to brush up a few concepts and especially the data structures like stack queues linked list this and trees so focus on those things and i hope you can do well so that's it from my side thank you thanks for watching